I mean, I was uh, pleased with Secretary Mnuchin's uh, announcement. I think it's good news. The CFIUS process is well understood. It works well, and it, importantly, it balances between economic considerations and national security concerns. Um, it, we need foreign investment, right? We need capital flows into the U.S., and this, I think, assures markets that those will continue. John, your thoughts? Yeah, the CFIUS process is really not about trade, and it is about national security. So it, it means that it, they're going to look closely at those investments that might result in the transfer of technology in critical sectors to China or that might allow China to increase theft of intellectual property or trade secrets. The other part that my clients uh, have been concerned about in the bill or, or, and want to see what's going to happen next has to do with U.S. companies, though, and that is uh, under the Commerce Department coming, and it'll probably take six months to a year, there'll be a new set of regulations that govern when U.S. businesses seek to transfer uh, through licenses intellectual property or do joint ventures in China. So more to come to see how they craft those rules. It's going to sound like a stupid question, John, but I'm going to ask it anyway. <laughs> when we're talking about the transfer of technology, we're talking about a U.S. company doing a joint venture in China. As we have seen so many U.S. companies do, uh, whether it be automakers or semiconductor companies, what exactly constitutes, in CFIUS's view, a transfer of technology? I mean, presumably, if you have a joint venture, you build a plant together, and they see your manufacturing processes, they see how things are manufactured, that might be considered a transfer. That's actually a great question. And so when I worked uh, on the CFIUS committee, the, there was a problem with the legislation. So the jurisdiction of CFIUS only applied when there was a foreign change of control. It could be low, even as low as 3%, if it had certain rights, like board rights. What it did not cover is U.S. companies going outbound doing either joint ventures or, or doing uh, IP transfer licenses. And so it may be the same harm you were trying to prevent with the change of control and investment would occur because of that joint venture or license agreement. Under the new legislation, the Commerce Department is tasked working with the national security community to come up with new license requirements around critical technology to address just the issue you raised. What happens with those uh, joint ventures and when do companies need to be particularly careful? And so assuming this passes, Philip, and, and we do get those new superpowers for CFIUS. What sort of industries within technology, I assume semiconductors are a big one, need to be wary? I mean, who's this going to affect the most? Uh, oh, sure. It's, it's got to be computer hardware. Um, one can imagine in software as well, in some sense, uh, right? And a lot of software gets embedded into uh, products, right? Our cars even are, are basically computers on wheels uh, these days. Um, I, I think it's just hard to predict exactly where the new rules will hit. But given what's going on with the spread of technology into all, all manufacturing, I think we, we can expect it to be a, a pretty broad uh, expansion of, of the CFIUS process, as John said. And, and look, I, I think that's good. I mean, these are, as John said, we're really concerned about China stealing U.S. technology. And this is a, a bipartisan effort that I, I think will uh, address that. John, last question. Do you think that there's a possibility that they could review joint ventures that are already inked? For, I mean, for instance, you know, if you have automakers over there and they're developing autonomous driving technology, uh, could CFIUS insert itself and say, this is something that we need to review once again? So I think it, w it wouldn't be through CFIUS, probably. It would okay. be through a change in the licensing rules, and, and in which case, yes, they could. They could say uh, a technology that you're using is now export controlled, and you need a license if you're going to share it, and then you'd have to... Uh, mm -hmm work that through. And in terms of where it'll affect, I think Peter's exactly right. They've telegraphed what they're interested in, uh, in terms of national security, which is the artificial intelligence, uh, internet of things, the collection of bulk data, including personally identifiable uh, information and cybersecurity. And those are uh, identified and flagged in the new bill. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.